When we began this project, we had a vision of a space that puts students at the center. This building is ideal for that in its original conception because it's a hub and spokes. So we made student life the center and the things that they need and the things that would serve them and help them prepare them for the world beyond Maine West were right at the edge of the center so that they could access it easily. Two and a half years later, with COVID intervening, there could have been delays, but people worked so hard. The contractors worked hard, the designers worked hard, our district staff worked hard, and here we are. And it's exactly what we dreamed of when we started those design meetings. The snapshot from before to after feels impossible, but we got to see it in increments so we could see piece by piece. The cafeteria got started. First you watched the windows come down, cutting through the concrete, and the next thing you know, they're slicing up the iron and, um, and the steel that laid the, the foundation for the floor. That part of the project was huge. I think the name, The Pit, says it all. We had old weights equipment down there and there were some PE classes down there. But recapturing that square footage means now we have this gorgeous common space. The pit was really like, I don't know how to describe it, like dark. And it's way more brighter down here, so I think this switch is kind of crazy to me. I think it looked like an entirely different school. I don't know, it's really big and it makes you feel like you're in a movie. It looks like High School Musical. The signed approved architectural drawings for the original plan for the field house, and it never got built. So fast forward to 2019-20, now we're building. And I will never forget the day we opened the field house and the kids came in to take a victory lap. It's just burned into my brain. I'll never forget it. One of the promises that we made to make the buildings more secure, locking system in place so that you can't proceed into the interior of the building until you get buzzed through by a security staff. When the building was originally designed, instructional spaces weren't conceived of as places where kids move around. You go, you find your desk in your row, you sit down and there you stay until the bell rings. We're a much more collaborative structure now than we were in the, in the late 50s when the school opened. The building that we have now needs to reflect the world of tomorrow, you know, the world that our kids are going to build when they leave here. So we had to build the school for tomorrow. It was especially exciting in Seawing Gym. It goes from a gym into this magnificent art studio. The new culinary room that they have, where the kitchens are surrounding more of like the center, it gives a lot more space for the students during baking, be more interactive. Classes are really nice. Um, we have new floors, new chairs. The desks are completely different. Instructors now benefit from the improved classroom space. I feel like they've been given better tools to work with, and good tools in the hands of experts yields really terrific results. I want to be a teacher that generates experiences where the students are responsible for their learning, but it requires flexible spaces, and it's beautiful to see students that feel empowered to move about a space strike up conversations with their peers on the skills that we're really hoping to cultivate. I think the community rallied around us and we're constantly aware of that. We're constantly aware of our role in the community and what this high school means to this town. I think the students know that their school is beautiful and I hope they know that their school loves them. Absolutely the students deserve it.